Good morning everyone from SeaWorld San Antonio. It's been a couple of years since I've been to this park. I think it was back actually right before the pandemic really hit. I was here I think the second to last day before everything shut down. So it was maybe two months after Texas Stingray opened. So uh, they've added since uh, Tidal Surge, which is the big SNS Scream and Swing. They started construction on uh, the world's first like launch log flume roller coaster, which would be pretty cool. It's just me, Sarah and I today. She ran ahead to get in line for something. So uh, this is our beautiful front entrance. We're gonna go in. I think it's gonna be a fairly light day. This is one of the few days during the week when they're open is before Thanksgiving. It's a Monday, so I don't think it's gonna be too busy. It's gonna be a good time. Let's go on in. Very wide open entrance. Over here you can see Aquatica, their water park. Unlike SeaWorld Orlando where Aquatica is separate, everything in this complex is just right here. Discovery Point is over on the other side. Here's our entrance. You can either go to the right or straight ahead. I think we're gonna go straight ahead towards Steel Eel. See, I like this park, but it needs a more grand entrance. Like, when you pass through the front gate, there's just... Yeah, there's there's no, like, grand vista view. Like, you have that when you walk up to the initial entrance of the plaza, but there needs yeah. to be something, like, here. It's just kind of like a... Well, it's a road. It's a road, and there's some trees, and some food, and this. But yeah, like, some cool... I don't know, they could do something like San Diego where they have, like, the exhibits. Right up front and I like the that, cool yeah. like toppers to them. That would be better. That, that'll look really nice, I yeah. think. Funny enough, the first roller coaster you see is over in the Sesame Street area. I believe that's Grover. Anyone know what's going on here? This whole area is under construction right up along this side of the waterfront. Oh, that's where the gig is gonna go. I knew it. Randa Steel Eel. This ride is such a funny plaza to me because there's just a bunch of trees. <laughs> Taking up the whole area, and then there's like, oh yeah, here's the station. See this ride to me? It's hilarious. I always think of the thing from SpongeBob where they're like, it's the seven mile spanking machine, and they all stand like this, and they like smack your butt like the whole way through. That's what Steel Yield does to That's your body. That's what this feels like. to ride Steel Curtains. I, I mean, Steel Vengeance. Steel Phantom. <laughs> steel Dragon. Steel Eel it is. I just don't understand why a park that cares so much about their wildlife would encourage someone to steal an eel. It's unbelievable. Look at this bunny hills. That's crazy. Oh god, oh god. Alright, oh here we go. Oh god. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Ah! <laughs> it's like Mamba. Look, whoa! Oh, it's oh. Ah! It slams you down. Oh my god! It, it's gonna get worse. You know that, right? Oh, oh my god! Whoa! That ride is funny. It's a, like, the air time is hilarious. It goes so graceful in its floater until the last second when you just slam down. It feels like being dropped. Yeah. Not into that. It reminds me of uh, the air time on like Shockwave in over Texas. Cause that kind of has the same vibe. <laughs> Way more aggressive. We popped into a random gift shop to get some AC and look at this. They have a model train set going all the way around. This is awesome. Look at this. I remember when SeaWorld Orlando used to have one of these, but then that is where uh, Pipeline currently is, so I don't know if they're bringing it back. Trains, pipeline. I can see it going either way. <laughs> All right, I'm in the Christmas spirit now. Hi, Abominable Snowman. 
I love your claymation special. So following around on Steel Eel, the next logical attraction hit is Wave Breaker the Rescue Coaster, which is final, but we gotta direct our attention to the other side of the pathway. What's going here? Looks like Catapult Falls. It's not done yet, but they put a sign. So this attraction was supposed to open earlier this year. Uh, it got delayed. It is on the other side of this fence. It's the new Intamin water log flume coaster with a launch. Should be cool. I'm actually excited for it, and we'll definitely come back for it sometime next year, I'm sure. But until then, let's go for a ride on Waybreaker. This huge bird is just chilling on the Wavebreaker track. Alright, we just got off Wavebreaker the Rescue Coaster in the front row. Uh, honestly, it's a little better than I expected. Like, from what I remember. Right? Yeah, I've been like three years now. So, uh, this is a ride that I usually make fun of because we've done much better of the straddle style roller coasters. It's still not amazing, it's still a family ride, but it's fine for what it is. You gonna look at the camera or are you just gonna keep looking at your new friend? It's Walter! <laughs> look at this. This is why I made a face. Ready? What? His mouth like folds over. That's why I was making a face, I'm sorry. This wow. is Walter. Walter did not ride, I got him after the ride. To me it's like aquatic cheetah hunt without an inversion. Similar it's, it's more of a family coaster than cheetah hunt is. Like, yeah. Cheetah well, hunt, like I meant the maneuvers, yeah. like all the S-bend. Cheetah hunt doesn't know if it's a family coaster or a throw coaster. This is it's trying to be both while being coaster. neither. Yeah, yeah, this is very clearly a family coaster. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's not worth the wait uh, because this usually gets a fairly long line. Like we have quick queue for the day, and we still waited because we're just sitting there in the station. Like they're not super fast operations today. That's definitely been a running theme for the, from what we've seen. A steel eel and wave breaker is definitely could be improved in that department. The one train also does not help. All right, He's let's so let's keep going. I have to carry him the rest of the day now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> your own fault. <laughs> Say hello to the luckiest people in the world. They are probably gonna get to pet a penguin right now. And I, glass, am blocked by glass. Hi, baby! Oh my gosh. Do you wanna come home with me? Okay, fun little story. I was. When you texted me and asked if I wanted to be a part of Coaster Studios. Wow. I was sitting right here and I got the text from you and I was like, what does that even mean? And you're like, oh, well like you'll get a polo and like I can send you to like, you know, media events and stuff. And then it progressed into doing every single video together. Also there are elves with saxophones behind you. Yo. And now we're back here at this table. Yep. Is this where you're gonna tell me I'm fired? Uh, yeah, this is where your your time at Coast Studios has come to an end. No, it was a fun time. We it started and ended in the same place. Symbolic. Yes. <laughs> Three rides there on Texas Stingray. Uh, that thing is amazing. It's so good. That is one of the better paced GCIs, I'd say. Yeah, that's... It just doesn't have any like moments of chill. No, it <laughs> hauls the entire time. Yeah. That is a wildly impressive ride. And what's amazing is, you know, I haven't done it in like three years. It's running still just it's fantastic. So yeah. So smooth. I would probably say it runs Similarly in style to Thunderhead. Yeah. Similar like feel. Absolutely. Yeah. I I don't know if I like that or Thunderhead more. I might honestly still lean towards Thunderhead. I think I would too, but like it's pretty close.
Sun is setting here on SeaWorld San Antonio. Beautiful views here across the water. It's just crazy to me to contrast the park now in this view to what it was when I first visited. So, there was no wave breaker, there was no Texas Stingray, there was no tidal surge, and this park just felt way too big for its own good. Not enough stuff to do, and boy, have they really made some solid improvements since then. Really pleased with the direction they've been going in. Uh, so apparently they have a buffet here. Hey, what are we looking at here? <laughs> well, apparently this is included on the dining plan. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet. So they got Thanksgiving food, they got pizza, they got pasta. So I couldn't pick and I got it all. This is absurd. <laughs> so cheesy bread, pineapple on pizza because I never get it anymore because of her. So uh, I'm finally getting you have it. Free will. I'm Anyways, <laughs> uh, broccoli and cheddar soup. Uh, I don't know what kind of sauce that is on the noodles, but... It's a basil cream and it's so good. I actually yeah, I stole some of yours because I put marinara on it and I decided I like that one. Oh, uh, okay. And then... This is, um... That's green bean Green bean casserole. casserole. Yep. I got a piece of pizza, I got stuffing, corn, ham, mashed potatoes, and a salad. What did Walter get? Um, he's just watching. He's watching his weight. Look at him. <laughs> and to cap it all off, dessert is served. Apple pizza and chocolate pizza. Where are you going? Getting my own, I don't want to share. Yo, that place is awesome. Yeah, the food was actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so good. And, okay, let's talk price. It's like, after tax, maybe, what, $25, something like that? How much does a normal meal here cost? Ah, uh, what, 16-ish? Maybe 15, 16? However much if you want to drink. Yeah, if you want to drink, that's an extra $4. So we're talking maybe 20 bucks for a meal. So an extra, let's say, $5, and you get an all-you-can-eat buffet. It's not a bad deal. That is not bad. It's not, I don't, so right now it says like a Christmas cozy kitchen. I assume it's open like regularly. Yeah, yeah. Not just for the holidays. Maybe it, has, it probably has a different name. Yeah, I mean the but, main, like it was plenty of pizza mm -hmm. stuff, but obviously they had like Thanksgiving food there too. So maybe the, the pizza is year round and then they just swap out some of the other items. I have like a food baby. Like, Let's walk around and look at some animals or something before Walter we hop on another eating. ride. He ate. What do you eat? Uh, all my food. Oh. I, I just, you know, he handled it. <laughs> okay. True night ride on Texas Stingray. First night ride we've ever gotten on this ride. Let's see how it is. Welcome to my station. <laughs> the only was here. Yeah, what happened? Wasn't this like an hour long line earlier? This was so busy, now it's dead. We just did four back-to-back -back rides on Texas Stingray without leaving our seats, and holy crap, guys. I think I have a new take, all right? So of the three SeaWorld parks in the US, I'm talking San Diego, Orlando, San Antonio, I think that's the best roller coaster. Do you? Yeah. I honestly think wow. it might be, yeah. Like, excluding Bush, because Bush, we have Iron Wazzy, yeah. that obviously is the winner, but this ride, especially at night, shreds so insanely hard. I'm it's there's literally no downtime. None. It's just perfectly paced, and I feel that that is a common ground amongst the more modern GCI. Yeah. Like I'd say RMC and GCI have like the best paced coasters They're, overall. I'm so impressed. Like there's just never much downtime, and the, it's just crazy. The middle section of that ride is non-stop 
just airtime. You're so low to the ground. It's like stand up before the tunnel. Like it's you, insane. It's like the airtime you get is unreal. Yeah. You're just getting tossed around like a rag doll. Yeah, this that ride alone, if you are an enthusiast, is like worth making a visit to this park. I think that is just so much better than I remember. I remember liking it. I've always liked Texas Stinger. Oh, I think yeah. when I first wrote it, I said that was like a top five GCI, but maybe like at number five or something. Well, maybe it's like kind of heated up since we did it. it I, I did it when yeah. it was fairly new as well. Yeah. I think it definitely is running better at night, maybe, than uh, it was earlier for us. But it was still great earlier. I'm though. just so impressed with that thing. We just like were sitting towards the back the whole time, and I could have ridden that thing all day. It's so smooth. So smooth. It's the ideal roller coaster when it comes to like relentless, a uh, perfect combination of elements. There's so no smooth. dull space. Yes. Man. It's just wonderful. That I is, can't recommend riding that thing enough. It's yeah. So good. Incredible. <laughs> And in Texas. You yeah. the Texas do, baby. Wow. In order to get out of the park, first we have to go through the seven layers of the candy cane forest. Then through the sea of swirling, twirling gumdrops. Then we go through the Lincoln Tunnel. And somehow that lands us at our hotel for tonight in San Antonio. <laughs> we made it through one candy cane forest. Now we're in another. Look at all these. This is awesome. And as we make our way out, we're using our all day dining one more time and we are taking chicken tenders to go. We have to go. I already missed kickoff. Let's go. Yeah, she wants to see the Eagles game, so we're leaving. <laughs> we had a really good day. We had a lot of fun. The rides are really good, and now we're leaving. Why are we leaving? Because I want to watch the game. Yes, but SeaWorld San Antonio was such a good time. Yes, it was great. I loved it. Texas the, Stingray. Texas awesome. Stingray was amazing. Yeah, food I was good. Food was Atmosphere great. Atmosphere great. Animals I, I, great. I highly recommend this event. The park looks fantastic at Christmas time. Um, really, really awesome time. It was just so good being back here. How's the fries? Probably. Oh, yeah, it's good. cold by now. <laughs> flavorful. Good. You know what else is flavorful? What? A good football game. Let's go. E-A-G-L-E-S Eagles! Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at... She's gone. Good night, everyone. <laughs>